Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out and showing you how we hooked up the Pollock 12 volt toggle switch. A toggle switch, really simple component, you know, for an electrical system, but a necessary one if you plan on turning your accessory uh, off and on, right? And that's exactly what this is gonna do. So this one uh, is a single pull, single throw type switch. So essentially it's just gonna interrupt a circuit and have two positions, you know, off and on. So good general purpose switch, um, you know, that light to medium duty, it's good for 20 amps at 12 volts. So that'll be perfect for a lot of different, a lot of different things, you know, whether you're doing uh, lights like we are today, or maybe a small pump or uh, stuff along those lines, you know, this will work out real well for you. That's exactly what we're using our switch for today, just to power some spotlights that we put on the front of the boat. Um, and originally I already had the wiring stuff set up in here because the original horn button was here. It's just a momentary switch. My horn uh, quit working, really expensive part, and I'm not gonna bother with it. I'll just keep an air horn on the boat to keep legal. So I figured I'd utilize this for my wiring and just have to replace the switch. Uh, so it worked out really well for me. And matter of fact, I tried out a bunch of different switches today on this, and this is the one I'm gonna end up keeping. And uh, I decided on that for a few different reasons. One of them being that a lot of the back is made out of nylon, so that isn't gonna corrode or have any issues there, especially on a boat on the water. And I like how compact it is. This thing is itty bitty. Uh, and it's hardly going to take up any space at all. Another reason uh, I'm choosing this one to keep is because you're able to use these little uh, protectors over them. So a lot of people wonder about this because these aren't going to work with every switch, but these will work with this one. The threads are the right uh, pitch and the right size. And I'm actually going to end up going with this one. So that'll thread on there and, uh, you know, give it a little more protection out of the elements. So there's this one and then there's some half boot type ones, which will go over. You'll still be able to see the chrome part of the switch, but it'll kind of cover everything else up. So uh, if that's what you're looking to do, you know, these will work with this particular switch. Talked about how compact this is, so it should work with a lot of different stuff. But in case you uh, have a real shallow area to mount this or something, we'll give you some measurements, might help you. If you go from there to there, that is gonna be about 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, we'll go this way. That's gonna be about half an inch. And then if we go from kind of the top, the switch housing, and we'll go to the bottom of the terminal there, that's gonna be about 5 eighths of an inch as well. Aside from that, uh, a really compact switch, feels well made, and we'll get the job done. In terms of getting this hooked up, you know, everyone's deal is gonna be a little bit different, but uh, concept's going to be the same. You'll have two wires you need to hook up to interrupt the electrical circuit and then simply just mount this up. So we'll go ahead and uh, do it on the boat now and hopefully that'll give you some direction. To get the switch installed, you know, everyone's setup is going to be a little bit different, um, but for the most part, it's going to be straightforward. You know, you'll have two wires that you need to hook up and a spot to mount up the switch. In our case, since uh, we're just replacing an existing switch, Everything's really easy. You don't really have to, to route or run any wires or drill any holes or anything since we already have it, you know, like I said, existing in our switch panel. But with that said, we're gonna be working right here in this area. So we'll go ahead and kind of prep our switch here. Uh, first thing we'll do is remove this nut and this little uh, on-off placard here. And then on the back side where our terminals are, Go ahead and remove these Phillips side screws. And pretty straightforward from here. Make sure before you actually hook this up, get your main power turned off if you have it. And uh, the switch is also, there's gonna be a little cutout there for the placard. So where that cutout is, that's gonna be the off position. So just keep that in mind you know, if, if you want to use this. But what you're going to do is take your wires here. You are going to need some ring terminals. Mine already had them set up. If you need them, you can grab them here at E-Trailer. We'll line them up. 
take her screw and tighten it down. I want to mention to say if you get this hooked up, and let's say you're powering lights, for example, like we are, if the lights turn on in the off position, uh, you just need to switch these wires around and vice versa. So if they're off on the on, you know, you'd, you'd want to change the uh, change the wires around. So easy fix if that happens to you. Not that big of a deal. So we'll get the uh, other wires set up here and get the screw in. Make sure we get these good and tight. From there, I'm just going to come in from the back and put it through the existing hole there on our switch panel. Go ahead and slide our on off deal on there. And then take the nut and tighten it down. This is a good idea to test everything, make sure it's working properly. So I'll go ahead and turn my master power on. And if I flip this to the on position, you should get power to our lights. And that'll finish up our look at of the Pollock 12 volt toggle switch.